Well, here we are again, making another repair. And this is to a, a stinger bit or a pilot bit. It goes on an auger. And um, what happened here is it seemed to have had a tooth that snapped off. Must have caught something in the hole. There's a piece still stuck in there. And so instead of just trying to take it out because it's edge is worn already so much so that uh, it's worn enough that it needs to be replaced. Now what I normally like to do is try to um, I try to get the uh, torch with a high pressure. Let me see if I go around this way so you can see a little better. Use a high pressure on my oxygen <clears throat> so that the oxygen will, oxygen will blow right through when I'm cu cutting with a torch. And my focus will be more so to try and stay on the parent metal than to run along the gap. So I would torch in a zigzag pattern that way, if in case I do hit any impurities like dirt or mud or even a space, it will still continue cutting all the way through. I'll follow it all the way around this way. And normally I can get them off in one one shot. Uh, of course, it's more so because of the oxygen pressure and a real clean tip. And then uh, putting it back on, and it takes just a little experience, you know, you kind of see where this one is compared to this one. Maybe you can kind of measure it out or... You know, whatever you do, uh, you'll figure it out. Each one of them is slightly different, different manufacturers. And so I'll, I'll put a tooth in the new pocket, kind of angle it the same, tack it all up, and then weld it up, clean this all up. So uh, this video is mostly dedicated to just this one little repair. And they're, they're rather simple. Uh, it's a lot of cutting, you know, again, so the oxygen jet would be cutting through all that. Hopefully in one pass, at least to get the bulk of it off. And then from there, do a little touch-up cleanup work with a torch. And hopefully, if, it, if I did it right, I can almost put it back in the same spot that it came out of. And be real close. Okay, so hang tight. Alright, so here we go. Got the number one tip on my torch here. And I run it at 7 and 70 on the oxygen. And uh, that's normally pretty good to be able to push through that. And so let's see if I can't get it off in one piece. Maybe. good so now you see I got the bulk of the material off now I can go back in and kind of um, 
do a little more fine tuning. I wanna knock off the excess slag. Okay, so I got the bulk of it off. Like I said, now I'll start fine tuning and you'll see as the oxygen jet is flowing across, I'll get to the bottom edge of the original parent metal, which is that pocket, and I'll be able to stop. And then you'll start to be able to see the, the perimeter weld uh, becoming visible. So a little more fine tuning there. See the that area there. It's getting there. Uh, a little more.
How about the riding mower, whoever's cutting the grass? This baby's hot. This is why I like my needle scaler so much better. So much faster. Okay, now I try to cut this, clean that up a little bit. So here we are, uh, very little minimal cleanup. And you can see that it looks all right. This guy will go right in there. So you follow that same part there. Follow that same back there. Do a little measuring, kind of get a good guesstimate. You put it back on. So, hang tight and I'll, I'll start welding it up here in a minute. All right, so I got it finished up and brought it back into the shop. I'm gonna use the, uh, the pulse machine on it, MIG weld it. I'll clean this up just a little bit. Uh, clean as much of that scale junk as I can. And then put this on there just like that. And uh, normally I would, I would um, stick weld it, but I'm in the shop, so may as well give it a shot. And the pulse will be nice and hot, and then maybe I'll uh, run a, you know, a smaller or a 
or call it short circuit pass over it just to make it look prettier so either way pretty straightforward job see just like that uh, measure 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 the points uh, and put it back on there all right see it So, relax, it's not falling off. And it's done. I'm gonna screw it back onto the auger and it should be ready to go. Man, yeah, baby's hot. Okay, so that's that. Pretty simple little job. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys dig it. Alright, we'll see you guys.